Oh, look at that face. What's happening, everybody? It's Lava the Savvy coming at you with another top. How many reasons is this? 10, 7, 8, 6, 5, 5, three, five reasons, 5 things that you shouldn't do as a girlfriend. Now, disclaimer, if you are one of those equality sorts, you know what I'm talking about, where you're all about rights and, you know, that was sexist and X, Y, Z, at the end of this video, you won't think I'm a little chauvinistic. So if you have that equality stick up your ass, it's gonna kind of block the influx of comedy that's gonna be coming out through here because the stick is so far up your ass, it's coming out your throat. So when you talk, all you talk is equality bullshit. I believe in equality. You know what I'm saying? So you you will need to take that stick out your ass and realize this is just an opinion. These are not facts. These are opinions. It's so like the comedy can just rush through your soul. Let your soul glow. Ho 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 ho. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have the same opinions that I have. These are five things you shouldn't do as a girlfriend. Number one, you should not be a thought. Okay? Now, what is a thought? A thought is pretty much a woman that don't have no type of self-respect for herself, and it shows publicly in her actions, the way she speaks and how she dresses. The longer you can go in a relationship without letting loose your thought tendencies, the longer you will have that relationship. But unfortunately, some people, aka thoughts, know they're gonna be a thought. They just wanna have a little bit of peace and comfort in a relationship, like two or three months, so they can go back to doing their thought thing. They fake, don't worry about it, move on. Next, not girlfriend material. Number two, you shouldn't be dirty. Now let me explain dirty. When I say dirty, I'll talk about like dirt, filth, grind. You should take a shower regularly. A lot of women do. Some of y'all motherfuckers don't. I've met some of the motherfuckers who don't. I'm sorry, you come in the house, they just clothes everywhere, you know what I'm saying? There's dishes all up in the sink. It's like some cat shit over there in the corner. Just nasty. Just a nasty house. If your house is nasty, I'm gonna assume you probably a little nasty yourself. Now this don't count for everybody. But like I said, if I offended you, fuck you, okay? That's is that's, that's, if you still around this video and I said fuck you, I don't think there's anything else I can say that's gonna offend you. So you might as well watch this all the way through to the end. Ha -ha! All right, number three. Now, this is a little controversial because I have a lot of friends and I met people, you know, through school. And there's older people who go through this issue and have successfully passed this test. That don't mean you should test your man or ex-man in this case, because this is the, in this one. You should never fuck anyone your boy is cool with. Now that's gonna pull on a lot of people's heartstrings. Pluck, pluck. If you fuck somebody that your boy was cool with, in his mind, he's thinking, one, you wanted to fuck the person the whole time. Two, you just didn't give a fuck about him and you just decided to go along with it. And three, reasons one through two, with a little bit of thoughtness, you know what I'm saying, circulating through. That that might not be the case, maybe the person you broke up with, it had, was an ugly relationship and you needed that space, and you actually found somebody that you can fuck with. But if you're gonna fuck with them, you better keep fucking with them and if, it, if it's some serious, or I mean, just don't. That's just, you probably not gonna get the man. Like if you want the dude back, or you got plans on getting the dude back, yeah, that's not the best, that's, that's gonna slow shit down. That's gonna scare. That's gonna slow shit down. Um, number four. If he has a mother, like she ain't dead or no shit, say hey to her, you know what I'm saying? Don't fucking come in the house. Hey, I'm going downstairs. Your mom right there, and she ain't saying nothing to your mom. She just... Like she marching, like, like, like this is boyfriend boot camp. Bitch, you better say hello to the woman who created this dick. Okay, my dad ain't around, so you know my parents got to get the credit. My dad's dead, RIP. The, the, the fifth reason, it's like two reasons in one, because I, I, I don't like the number six, so we just go, you get me? All right, cool. You shouldn't be too selfish, and you shouldn't be too jealous. Here's what I mean, a little selfishness is sexy, in my personal opinion. A little jealousy 
is sexy, in my personal opinion. But when it goes too far, like your boyfriend can't have female friends, if he hasn't introduced you to somebody, or you don't remember that person, or whatnot, you go into a complete panic. How did you meet him? How did you meet your boyfriend? Hmm? Doing some random shit, not expecting to meet him. How you met him, right? That's how he's probably gonna make friends. If he's a friendly motherfucker, leave that friendly motherfucker the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? It makes that nigga feel like you don't trust him. You know what I'm saying? So, and as far as being a too selfish part, Men like to spend their money on women, but men don't like women who that's all they want. Now this is probably like y'all thinking some, duh, Martin. Women aren't like that anymore. Ha! Cause some of the same chicks that said they ain't like that is exactly like that. Cause y'all on my Facebook page. Y'all post shit, and then I see y'all in person. So I don't know you know you, but I know you. This is a video that has been on my heart for a while to do, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to put this video out because I knew, I know people personally that this is going to offend, but oh well. Here's the thing, in all of these examples when I say women shouldn't be this and women shouldn't be that, look, you are an individual. So who really gives a fuck what I have to think about you? As long as you're living a life that you're happy with living, don't care about what I say, don't care about what anyone said. Just like, I don't care about what you said, what you think. And you still support me and watch my channel. So, I mean, just think of it like that. All of these situations where I say women should not be this and all of not be that, every single one of these examples can be overcome by love. So if there's enough love in a relationship between two people, then I think no matter how many reasons there are, they'll always be able to overcome those two reasons. But don't be a thought.